Hi, I'm Penn Haddo, Project Director of the Catlin Arctic Survey, and today we launched our partnership with the Oceans in Google Earth, which um, will enable people um, looking at Google Earth to take part in the survey, which is to measure the thickness of the sea ice around the North Pole on the Arctic Ocean. And um, it's a really exciting opportunity for, for our project because it means that we're going to be able to uh, reach up to 500 million of you out there who, um, who might otherwise not know about our project and the work that it's doing. So you can take part in the journey, you can participate in actual exploration live, and even see the heart rates of the three-person explorer team up there uh, making this journey on the Arctic Ocean sea ice over about 85 days, one pound kilometers swimming the areas uh, between the ice pans in immersion suits um, it's all going to be very exciting uh, it's going to be some it's going to be live um, through the uh, expeditions layer on uh, oceans in Google Earth so uh, come and join us hello my name is Richard Edwards and I'm the director of a project called archive archive is bringing together the world's best wildlife imagery and photographs on the world's threatened species and making these freely available to everybody um, on the archive website as an education resource and conservation tool. The archive layers on Google Ocean or Google Earth will allow people to actually visit these habitats, visit these ecosystems and see where these species are found. So you can swim with the um, sea lions and the marine iguanas off the Galapagos. You can climb the oceanic mountain that is, that is Hawaii and swim with the green turtles and the sharks. Or you can swim along the uh, Great Barrier Reef and explore some of the great biodiversity that's found there. So oceans in Google Earth is going to be a fantastic communications tool about biodiversity and the marine world and how fragile it is.